Ben was at a conference with other leaders in social enterprise, and uh, Ben met Bernie Glassman, who was the founder of the Grayston community. Bernie's goal was to provide employment for those with barriers to employment, and uh, started this bakery. And it was part of a part of a larger community that was also providing services in Yonkers, New York, where Grayston is. The Grayston Foundation is a uh multiplicity of different organizations. Uh, the foundation is, the, is, is at the top. It's a not-for-profit 501c3. And the largest part of the Grayston Foundation is its for-profit affiliate, the Grayston Bakery. And so uh, Ben said to Bernie, hey look, you bake things. Why don't we figure out what you can bake for us, which turned out to be brownies. We make ice cream, we'll put them in the ice cream and uh, you know, let's make it really good and let's see what happens. For uh, 30 years, Grayston has been a leading social enterprise, uh, combining contract manufacturing, baking with a social justice program based around open hiring, which means anyone that walks in the front door of our bakery, we offer a job. They put their name on a list and we give them a position. Around the open hiring program, we have other capabilities through Grayston Foundation. We provide about 300 units of affordable housing in Yonkers and the surrounding area. We have a child care center, we have a community gardens program, we have a program to service people with HIV and AIDS, and we have a workforce development program to help train people for jobs other than in our bakery. Part of the relationship that's really important is that uh, what we're trying to do is to see how business can create social good. This business right here saves Yonkers. A lot of people, they come here to change their life. They give ex-felons, ex-cons a chance to adapt back into society. It don't matter what type of record you got, what type of police history you got, they don't ask you all that. And that's what it's about with Grayston. They give you an opportunity, a chance to get off the street, get a fresh start, to um, pick up your life and to excel. While we've been working at it for 30 years, we don't feel we necessarily have all the answers. 24 of those years, we've been supplying brownies to Ben & Jerry's Chocolate Fudge Brownie Ice Cream. Uh, the relationship has been critical to not only our open hiring practice, but the business side as well. And for many years, we've taken a page out of the Ben & Jerry's playbook, which is linked prosperity. The idea of linked prosperity is that you create benefits out of the business decisions that you make so that all along the value chain, there's a sense of prosperity. And Grayston is a wonderful model for that because the business that you provide to us, we can then provide jobs and greater services. So within a model of link prosperity, communities can change, businesses can succeed, and ultimately there's great products being created. I think the beauty of the Grayston Bakery is that we started as this very small bakery and through this partnership with Ben & Jerry's, we've grown into a $17 million community institution. Grayston is unbelievable for us. They, uh, they want the best for us. You know, all we have to do is have uh, the willpower to, uh, to come to work. I can't really explain the feeling I have coming to work every day. And I walk to work. I walk with my iPod, my little book bag, with my lunch, and it feel good. <laughs> I'm sorry. The basis of open hiring, which we find really rewarding, is, is an element of non-judgment. It's an equal opportunity place. It's not judging people on their past performance, but it's looking at what they're capable of in the future. And there's places that say that, but then don't mean it. But this place, this place really means it. Before I came to Grayson, that's where I was living in them projects. I got arrested in those projects. Did a lot of bad things in those projects. I was looking for jobs. Nobody wanted to hire me because of my background. I thought about Grayston, what they do for people. They hire people with backgrounds, felonies, parole, or whatever. As far as me coming from the streets, I don't think if I didn't get in contact with Grayson, I'd probably be incarcerated for the rest of my life. One of the things that we focus on is this idea of transformation. We actually have a philosophy here called path making, where we try to work with people on a holistic basis to help them improve their lives, to become self-sufficient, and to become both better workers and better members of their family and better members of the community. The bakery 
didn't change my life, I changed my life. But it put me in that position to help me change my life. People that was working at Grayson, I knew them from the street. And when I saw that they was here, you know, I said, well, I want to be like them. You know, I want to do the right thing. And who knows, maybe I can become what they are. I wasn't planning to be here this long, but um, I started learning things, picking up on things, and started growing. They taught me everything I know. And that's just not picking up skills, that's a sense of humor, how to be patient, really how to take discipline and do things that you know you may not want to do, but that's a part of life. They're on a mission, you know, just not good quality or value, but, good, but to serve this community, the opportunity to grow. Link prosperity means that the earth prospers, the people prosper, the animals prosper, the communities prosper. And by the way we make our business decisions and, and how we link that together, um, we're looking to see if we can create social good, environmental good, economic good, all of that. Consumers are going to start looking more closely at the products that they're buying. And they're going to want to buy from businesses that they realize are doing better in the community. And Ben & Jerry's has been that leading model for years and years. We take pride, you know, because we got thousands and thousands, millions of customers to be served with Ben & Jerry's help. So it takes a team effort, and it's a hell of a team here.